right, guys, we're almost home. Short day for Sunday. Who would expect something for nothing? Get your money for nothing and your chicks for free. Nothing is free in life. You always have to pay alimony, child support. Eventually they get you. California, palimony. So, yep. Alright guys, so remember, believe in something because without belief there's nothing. Alright, just don't force your beliefs on someone else. Talk to you later. Peace.
So anyway, guys, oh, do some football. You know, I want to football. Will you teach me to football? Longest yard. Oh, we're going to put some deodorant on, so we'll put a little cologne under the pits. There we go. Some under this pit. There we go. Yeah, I'm still losing weight, guys. So, yes. Turn the fan on for a little bit. Throw it in reverse. Make sure no one is behind us. We might put a backup cam by the tailgate so when I'm backing up I can see if someone's trying to lay down. The new thing, guys, people are under people's cars. Not kidding. The people lay underneath it and they'll say, he backed over me. Not kidding. So, yeah. Bullshit. Let's go ahead and head home. Throw these babies on the grill. No, my mistake. I did not get the brocks with the cheese and bacon. We were, because we had them before. They were awesome. This is the Bar S, the big, um, like a Polish sausage, but they're not. And uh, you get 14 a pack for about five bucks. And so now that we have that, Um, we also got two cans of chili sauce and because the cheese is already inside of it and we have the um, hot dog buns so we're gonna have chili cheese dogs but well, we're gonna barbecue the dogs there we go. Uh, I checked my friends are not at the hospital still so. They're not. I should have asked what was wrong. Hope it wasn't a panic. People are dealing nowadays with panic attacks, anxiety, all kinds of bullshit, guys. And it's from chemicals that are put into foods and shit. Or better yet, medication their mom or someone was taking at the time the doctor prescribed, which you shouldn't have had. Now here's something for you guys that play Skyrim. When you go and escape, you go to the town where they say they'll help you. There are two people you can speak to, the elf and a bard. One will want you to convince this woman inside the trader thing that is the owner's sister. The bard wants you to convince, you know, not the, to go with the elf. And the elf doesn't like the bard because the bard thinks he's better than everybody. So, if you go with the elf, he's an archer. He can train you. The good thing about it is, when you give him the money to train, you can train up to a certain level. Then you can go back, like, I think it's like five. Yeah, five. But then, um, when you pay him for it, you can go back in and take the money back. No, nope, I'm not kidding. You can take the money back. But you can also use them for a pack mule. So let's say that you're going to go out to Solitude, where the cats hang out in front, and you look for the chest. But when you take the stuff from them all the time, they're always too full. You can't move. You can barely walk. Okay? But if you have your sidekick... You can say, let me trade some stuff to you. And you give them almost everything to hold on to. Yeah. Pack Mule. Now me, I went to Solitude. Then I went to Dawnstar. Got both chests. One I was carrying, one was theirs. So sometimes, if the guy's not too full, you can go ahead and give him more of your stuff. 
and go to the and uh, let's say you go Dawn Star last, you can go to the who is the guy that got Waxman and you can go inside there and get rid of some of your like extra axes and swords that you don't need okay otherwise you can just give it to him and then give him a little bit more extra and you can walk as soon as you can walk you fast travel so either that or guys here's a better one yet if you have your horse with you you can fast travel with your horse and your sidekick so you can have two big huge chests full of everything when you first start off mm -hmm. so yes or better yet guys when you're first starting off and you need that gold you carried everything you could one other thing you can do is just when it gets to the same place after you escape the same place you go up go to where the lumber mill is go behind the cutting machine as in back behind it, not on the same area that it's at. And you'll see an axe. Pick it up. Go chop some wood. Chop wood till you can't stand. Chop about a hundred, and you'll get about three hundred and something dollars in gold. Now, if you have the patience, you can sit there and just keep chopping and chopping and chopping. I mean, to the point where you walk. You know, but you got to remember one thing. If you're too full and it's toward the evening, okay, they're sleeping. That means you have to break into a house and stuff. Just hit the center bar pad on the middle of your PS4. Go to time limit to the morning to about 8 o'clock when everyone comes out. Now, don't go 10 o'clock because they'll always be there. No. Just do it till about 10 a.m. Let him walk up. Let him show up. Give him the wood. Now, it doesn't take all night to cut that much wood. If you start early at 6 in the morning after you escape or whatever, you'll be good. So that's some help with you guys for Skyrim. How to get two big old chests. And how to... What is the word? use your sidekick as a pack mule. Here's another one for you. Okay? If you're attacked and you have your horse and you're off your horse, the horse will help you attack. The guy with the dog that talks, Barbarus, Baracus, whatever, if you never finish his quest, he's always with you. Always. When I had him, I was fighting a dragon. He went up and bit the dragon in the throat. And the dragon took off flying, and he was still there. And since he's an NPC, and he's like a like a part of a godly creature, uh, he he don't die. He, he don't die. He can hang on to that dragon until it falls from the air or is on the ground. He can take down the dragon himself. So, just letting you guys know, hopefully that will help you. Have you guys noticed we haven't had any red lights? I'm not kidding. Has some there. Now, since I opened my mouth, this one will catch will be red. Watch. I could be wrong, but usually when you mention it, it happens. Like, speak of the devil and they appear. Isn't that how that usually works? guys, me and Bob and Jen and Jason, we're either going to cook, it'll be at the house, we'll do a Walmart meal, or um, we're going to hit the casino. Now, me and Bob has hit the casino in the past, but I just we find it kind of ironic that we go to an Indian casino for Thanksgiving. You would think the Indian Indians wouldn't have that, but it's about money, so it don't matter, right? So yeah, see, we had a green light there. So I don't know if this one will be green, but we will find out.
here's one for you. When my phone was down, I had bought four brand new tires for the car. Somebody thought it was funny and put police spikes out, four sets, on the highway. We went through and I saw a bunch of cars up there acting weird, so didn't think nothing of it. And this guy jumped out at me. Like he was trying to warn me, but not ah, red light. And sure enough, I thought he was attacking my car because I didn't know. And I hit the spikes. Four brand new tires shredded. If we could find out who did it, we'd know. You know, it doesn't mean you're going to get paid for it, but still, we'd know. Either beat the crap out of them or hire someone to beat the crap out of them, you know. You can still do that shit. It's wrong. Don't do it, but you can. Like the family guy. Remember when Stan was trying to toughen up Steve by being his bully? Here's the bad thing on that, guys. So, Steve hires Stelio Contos. Steve, uh, Stan Smith's old bully from high school to beat the shit out of him. And Stan goes, your mom needs those oranges. Are they up the stairs yet? And Steve goes, well, Dad, I've been thinking. I don't have to bring them up myself. I could always hire someone to bring them up. That's not how it works. Okay, Dad, you let me know. And Stan Contos beats the crap out of Stan. He goes, Dad, are the oranges up? He goes, yes, the oranges are up. He goes, thank you, Stelios. The guy goes ahead and he leaves. Boom, that was it. So get stuff done. But if you have to pay to get it done, at least it gets done. Grand Canyon Pro Rodeo, November. Hmm. PT Cruiser over here has been here, sitting there now for shit. I'd say about two weeks now just sitting over there. But no one touches it or anything because it's on Indian land. And not many people, I mean the Indians usually don't do anything, but after about a month or two, a month or more, that car will go bye-bye. Alright guys, I'm going to give you some road time. So, uh, see you in a few. Alright guys, so we did the Walmart thing. I still have like three or four bucks. Take a look at that. Chevy Nomad, yeah. So anyway, uh, they had these uh, hot links that had um, actually a Brockwurst with cheese and bacon inside. And got some chili, cans of chili sauce. So yeah. And um, some bread. We're going to barbecue before football. I know some football is going on, but still, it's almost like tailgating, right? So, yeah. Let's go. Ah. Roar.